We've put out so many videos covering different marketing strategies and tutorials. For today's video, I'm gonna show you what those strategies look like in practice with eight real digital marketing case studies from our clients. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. In my Facebook ad examples video, I covered seven of our clients' top, most profitable Facebook ads and I broke the ads down to show what made them work. You guys really seem to find that video helpful. So in this video, I'm gonna follow a similar format, but I'm not limiting the examples to Facebook. Today, we're gonna walk through some of our top digital marketing case studies using eight real client examples. Examples. So let's jump in with case study number one, Moto Tracks. Moto Tracks is a snow bike company. So he had specific products for a specific audience. We performed SEO, social media marketing, PPC, and website needs for them. So let's look at our SEO efforts first. We got them 78 first page Google rankings that resulted in over 77,000 new clicks to their website and $96,664.98 in revenue in five months. I know that's a lot to unpack, so let's start with the SEO process. SEO is the process of making your website rank at the top of the organic Google search results page when somebody types in a keyword or a search term that's relevant to your business. For example, if someone searches Atlanta Social Media Management Company on Google or any search engine, then the site that is search engine optimized the best for that keyword will be the first organic listing. So we help them appear on the first page of Google results for 78 keywords. Now, SEO is usually a long-term approach, sometimes taking 12 months or more to see first page results. So the major key to achieving the results that we did for them so fast was their site's age and history. Our client had already established some web authority over five years, but was doing SEO wrong. Our team was able to successfully come in, restructure their website, develop a strategy that included on and off page optimization and drive top search results. And while we did perform other services for them, which we'll get into in a second, SEO was a big part of our strategy because of the nature of their business. Because their products were so specific and niche, it made sense to put their business in front of people actively searching for those specific terms. That's what our SEO and PPC services did for them. So just take a minute to think about your business. Is the problem that your company solves or the solution that your product or service provides something that people Google often? If you think so, you can confirm it by using Google's free keyword planner to see exactly how often any search term is searched a month. I'll link our SEO playlist, which covers instructions on how to do that more extensively. But for now, I just wanted to point out that even though SEO is usually a long-term approach, that shouldn't deter your company from beginning the process if your audience is on Google actively searching for what you offer. Now, as for the social media service we provided for MotoTrax, it's important to note that you can still target a specific cold audience on social media, but it's not guaranteed that they're actively searching for or in need of your product right then and there when you deliver the ad to them. So on that note, let's look at the social media marketing we did for them to see what worked. We drove over 49,000 Facebook page likes, over 205,000 video views, and 1,718 leads at $2 per lead from social ads. So how do we do this and what made it work? Well, to answer the first question, we use specific objective-oriented ad campaigns to fuel their marketing funnel. We ran a page-like ad campaign that drove Facebook page likes at 19 cents per like. We ran a video views campaign that drove over 205,000 video views at $0.00 per video view. We used the post engagement campaign to boost their posts and get over 300,000 engagements at one cent per engagement. And lastly, we ran a conversion campaign to acquire over 1,700 leads at $2 per lead. I've said this in other videos, but campaign objective selection is important because they are optimized by goal. So a video views campaign is going to show your ad to people within your target audience who are most likely to watch your video. Whereas if you targeted the same audience with a page like ad campaign, the ad is going to be delivered to people within that audience who are most likely to like your page. And this is all driven 
driven by Facebook's AI and the user's behavior patterns on the platform. So that's why I thought it important to show you all the different campaigns we used because too often I see business owners who are new to advertising come in and start running an engagement campaign when what they really want are a website lead form completions. Now, the reason all of these campaigns worked is A, because our client had the budget to fuel them and B, we were addressing every part of the marketing funnel. Our client spent over $18,000 in those five months, but was happy to do so given the returns. And if you've watched any of our marketing funnel videos, you know there's an awareness phase, an engagement or consideration phase, and a conversion phase that your audience usually has to go through in order to become a customer. Our page likes and video views campaigns help them garner brand awareness that could later be retargeted to get further engagement out of their new followers and eventually convert them into leads. If you wanna read more about this case study, you can head to our website slash smb-seo-results. All right, before we jump into case study number two, here is a quick message from one of our co-founders, Sherman. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. All right, case study number two is Royce Chocolate. They are a famous brand of chocolate from Japan, and we've helped them generate a 225.25% return on investment using PPC. We generated 287 conversions that resulted in $13,686.90 in revenue. So a little background on the company, they were voted as the number one gift item in Japan's gift giving culture, but after a few years, their products were eventually made available across 14 countries, including the US. So they hired us to help increase their brand awareness and online sales via Google Ads. Similar to what we discussed regarding SEO in the last example, PPC is another way to put your website at the top of the search results for any given keyword that you feel is relevant. The main difference is that with PPC, you're paying Google directly for that space, and this is reflected to users with the ad symbol next to your website in the search results. It's a quicker route to get to the top of the search results, but the caveat is that it constantly takes money to fuel it. As Soon as you stop paying for clicks, you stop appearing there. Having said that, it is often a great temporary option to start driving immediate sales and get some cash flow coming in while you work on a more sustainable plan like SEO. For Royce's Chocolate, they spent $4,208.14 and made $13,686.90 back. So let's look at how we did that. We broke their campaigns up by different keywords and by different match types based on popular search terms we found in the keyword research we did prior. Now, some of the match types we used in their campaign are no longer available. The match types now available are broad match, phrase match, and exact match. So Google's example here is for the keyword lawn mowing service. Three words, one keyword. If you use broad match targeting, your ad will appear when related searches are made, such as lawn aeration services. This is probably the least popular type to use because it's very loose targeting. Phrase match means your ad will only be shown if the search query includes the meaning of the keyword, like lawn moving service near me, or hire company to mow lawn. This is the match type that replaced broad match modifier, which is what we used in Royce's campaign. And then lastly, we have exact match, where your ads will only be shown on searches that are the same meaning as your keywords, such as lawn mowing service or grass cutting service. So that was my crash course in PPC match types for you. If you want more tutorials on that, I will link our PPC playlist for you to check out next. But for this video, I wanted you to understand that we tested out multiple keywords in addition to testing broad match modifier and exact match to drive the results we did for Royce's chocolates. These were the top search ads we used that resulted in their 287 conversions, sending them right to the shop page for the collection of chocolates that they were promoting. All right, now let's look at a PPC case study for a client from a total different industry, case study number three, Fox Cities Real Estate. Fox Cities Homebuyers is a company based in Wisconsin, USA. They buy houses, 
pair up sellers to real estate experts and help people with selling their properties. They reached out to us for help with their Google advertising. We scored 95 conversions for them at $16.05 per conversion, which is nothing when compared to the revenue gained by any closed lead in real estate. We followed a similar approach in that we tested a multitude of keywords and tested them with the BMM match type and exact match type. These were the top performing ads. All of them address pain points that are relevant to their target market, including fast closings, selling your home in seven days, no fees, and no appraisals. In using verbiage that is eye-catching for their target market, it not only got them more clicks to their website, but it helped them to acquire the right kind of lead. People who are looking to buy a home are not gonna click on those ads that all start out with selling your home, and that's what our client wanted. Our ads resulted in almost a 40% increase in their conversion rate. All right, moving on to case study number four, Wingstop. Wingstop is a restaurant chain that specializes in chicken wings with locations nationwide, as well as a few international locations as well. Wingstop came to Life Marketing with a goal to grow their social media. Specifically, they wanted to increase their engagement on Instagram and Twitter so as to obtain new customers. And we did just that. We grew their Instagram by over 1,300 and their Twitter by more than 1,200. Now, there's a lot of ways to grow your followers organically. We've made a few videos about that that you can watch. But the reason I specifically wanted to talk about this client as an example in this video is because A, we were working with a local restaurant, which is not something you see addressed a whole lot in videos like this. And B, we used a specific outreach strategy for their Twitter account. We would look for people actively talking about wings or being hungry, et cetera, on Twitter. We'd see if we could verify that they were in the local area. And if so, we'd engage with them from Wingstop's account. In this example, a local tweeted that they were hungry. We replied to them from the Wingstop account and said, it's time to defeat that hunger with a mouth-watering picture of their wings and fries. This user tweeted back and said, I'll make a stop today. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. In a massively automated world, there's still something to be said for personal one-on-one -on -one engagement, especially when you pair that with an enticing food photo that makes you hungry on the spot. But for small businesses and especially local businesses, restaurant or not, engagement methods like this can do a lot for your brand awareness, brand recall, and ultimately customer loyalty. All right, moving on to case study number five, embroidery store. The embroidery store is a wholesaler for embroidery supplies. They have a wide range of products and are known as the leading supplier of embroidery supplies to the commercial embroidery industry. They came to us after failing to realize profitable sales via Google ads on their own. Our ads produced 99 conversions, which resulted in over $15,000 in revenue for them. So let's look at how we did it. We ran ads for different keywords based on different products, again, using different match types as well. These were the top performing ads that sent people directly to their shop page. One thing that's important to note about PPC campaigns is that they are usually more direct in asking for the sale or lead form completion because you're putting them in front of people who you know are at least somewhat interested because they're actively searching for a high intent keyword that's related to what you offer. That's what we did with their ad group here to help them find their niche target audience. In the ad, you have a limited amount of character space to work with and for search campaigns in particular, Particular, there is no image. So you usually want to get right to the point and that's what our ads did here. Embroidery supplies, high quality, low prices. Our client spent $5,731.82 on these ads and made a 162.41% return on investment with $15,040.66 in revenue. All right, moving on to case study number six, Talia Wajid. Talia Wajid is a natural hair care specialist, a master cosmetologist, and a manufacturer of the first complete line of natural and chemical-free hair care products. Her brand offers hair care products that are specifically created and formulated for naturally curly, coily, kinky, and wavy hair textures. Talia Wajid reached out to us to help them with their social media management. We generated 54,874 fans for them, over 263,000 total engagements, and over 146,000 video views at one cent per view. So let's look at how we did it. Similar to Mototrax's social media campaign, we ran multiple ad campaigns for Talia to accomplish these different objectives. We generated her Facebook fans or page likes, same thing at 16 cents per fan, 
Her post engagement at anywhere from one cent to $0.004 per engagement, which is super low, and her video views at one cent per view. But you can't just throw some ads up on social media and expect these kinds of results. The magic ingredient was in our planning. We broke our strategy down into five phases. One, research of competitors and customers. Two, development of content and growth strategy. Three, implementation of content and follower strategy. Four, measure and reporting and five, optimization life cycle. Now, we don't have time to break down those five phases today, but comment video on five phases if that's a video you'd like to see. If so, I can share the insight on what we do in each step as a professional digital marketing agency. For now, the short version is that we found and targeted her ideal prospects, built a connection with them, and created engaging content to keep them coming back to her page and brand for more. All right, case study number seven is the handkerchief shop. The handkerchief shop is a small business that produces produces custom handkerchiefs for weddings, the shop has expanded their embroidery options over time so that customers can fully personalize their products. They came to us to optimize and improve their search engine rankings. They started with 185 first page rankings and we helped them get to 314 first page rankings. They even outranked Etsy here for the keyword custom handkerchief. So how do we do it? We performed thorough keyword research to see which search queries were being used the most by their target audience. Then we helped them add hundreds of new Google keywords and rise to first page rankings for over 300 of their total keywords. So again, you can see we're working with a client that has a specific offering and target market, which is why utilizing SEO works so well here. The key in this campaign was to be diligent in our keyword research and ensure that we were going after industry relevant keywords while also following Google's best practices. If you don't know, there are actually unethical ways to perform SEO. It's called Black Hat SEO. Black Hat SEO is a way to perform SEO in a way that violates the search engine's policies. And if the search engine catches you doing it, it is catastrophic for your campaign and your business to put it bluntly. White Hat SEO is what's considered a search engine approved series of SEO tactics that you can follow. Karan covers this more extensively in his video here, which I'll link in the description if you're interested in watching that next. But I only mention it because if you're adding keywords to your website to rank higher, you don't wanna perform what's called keyword stuffing, which is where keywords are loaded into a web page's meta tags, visible content, or backlink anchor text in an attempt to gain an unfair rank advantage in search engines. But we're gonna talk about this a little bit more in the next case study. So let's go ahead and move on to our last case study of the day, number eight, Egyptian Magic. Egyptian Magic is a multi-purpose skin cream product made of all natural ingredients. Now, if you watched my top Facebook ad examples video, you heard me talk about this client in that video as well. But I'm mentioning them here again because we did more than just Facebook ads for them. We also performed SEO and organic social media management. For SEO, we helped them achieve 53 first page rankings. For social media management, we helped them acquire 67,233 total new followers across all of their platforms. And if you missed it in my other video, we helped them generate $10,062 in revenue from their social media ads. All right, so let's start with SEO. They began with zero first page rankings. So how do we get them to have 53? Our main strategy was blog creation. We wrote blogs for them and in doing so added 1500 new Google keywords to their content. As a result, they saw greater visibility with these efforts and started continually yielding more organic traffic and sales. So what I wanted to mention here from the last example about keyword stuffing is that your content should be equally written for your audience as much as it's written for Google. You don't wanna just stick keywords everywhere for the sake of sticking them there, that's a quick way to be flagged by Google. What you do wanna do is research to see which keywords are being commonly searched by your audience and create blogs around those topics. Make sure that your blogs are just as helpful and valuable to your audience as they are optimized for Google. A lot of times we see business owners making the mistake of only focusing on one or the other. Now for their social media management strategy, we did a few things to engage their target market. We researched their audience and found that their consumer Consumers are influenced by and care about an aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed. So we would send our client a mock-up of what their Instagram feed would look like with our content for the month prior to publishing. Now we sent this to them in a Google Doc because we were also planning out copy 
hashtags, stories, and more alongside the images. But if you want a quick and easy way to plan your own Instagram feed, you can download a free app like Preview. We also reposted consumers' posts of their Egyptian magic photos where they had tagged us to further encourage brand awareness and other customers to tag them in their posts. And lastly, we boosted posts and ran giveaways to further drive post engagement and brand awareness. This paired with the social advertising strategy that I covered in my other video helped them continually find and convert new customers. All right, you guys, that about wraps up my eight digital marketing case studies. I know it was a longer video, but I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on your way out, and I will see you in the next episode.